Alright, here's my simple how-to on shimming lifters. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, a lot less complicated than people make it out to be. These are hydraulic lifters, um, so valve lash and valve clearances is not a huge deal. We're just helping it out with a, uh, a little shim. This is for reground, use in reground cams. So, number one, you always want to have gloves. Um, the only thing you want soaking into these lifters is motor oil, not fingerprint oil. Um, not as important if you're, uh, if you're installing the shims and putting them in the engine the same day, but if they're going to sit in the box or on a shelf for a week or longer before you put them in the engine, definitely very important to wear gloves. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a 1 16th screwdriver and you're going to use that to remove the retainer inside the top of the lifter. Um, if you think the retainer is going to go flying or you just know you're really good at sending things flying, you might want to do the step inside a plastic bag. The uh, flat screwdriver seems to work best. I've used uh, scribes and picks and just the roundness of those tools seems to make the uh, retainer go flying pretty pretty far too. So you got the retainer off. Now you're going to take the lifter piston out. Set that aside as well. Now inside the lifter there's a lifter valve assembly. And this valve assembly um, locks oil into the bottom side of the lifter. So if you poke that valve, so if you poke that valve, you can drag it out. You may have to poke it a few times and drag. And I'm trying to do it so the camera seat, but the the best way to do it is to completely turn the lifter upside down so you won't be able to see what's going on when I do it that way. And yes, oil is going to spill out. They're uh, assembled with oil. Your valve and your valve spring will come out at this point. And now you've got an empty lifter body. You can see the valve. And there's a little check ball inside there. Let's see if I can get some of that oil out of there so you can see it better. There's a little check ball inside there and a little spring inside the valve that holds the check ball shut. Now you're going to take your shim, you're going to drop it in there. Now I'm using Clevet lifters which seem to be a little bit nicer than Nissan lifters. Um, fully machined, no casting marks or anything. And they have a little shoulder inside them. I do not know if the Nissan lifter has those. Either way, make sure your shim goes down past the shoulder and sits flat. I can't show you or else it's going to fall out. Well, may I can try. Okay. Close enough. I'm going to do the same thing with the spring. And drop it in there. Make sure it sits down below the shoulder. Now, you got the shim and then you got the spring on top of the shim. Now you're going to insert regular motor oil, whatever you normally use, uh, 1040, 1030, 530, and you want to do 15 to 18 drops. Now if you use less oil, uh, your lifter is just going to feel a little spongy once it's assembled and um, it might tap a little when you first start up and then it'll fill up with oil and it'll be fine. Uh, if you use more oil, your lifter might feel uh, 
stuff might be really difficult to reassemble. Um, so this this 15 to 18 drops is uh, from trial and error from my previous four assembled lifters. It seems to be the right number so that you get the uh, lifter assembled and it feels nice and firm when you're done. So now you're going to take the lifter valve that inside down. You're going to carefully slide it in there. Um, you don't want to score the inside of the lifter or you're going to have premature wear. So This one feels a little stubborn. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on my fingertip. Get some nice thicker motor oil in there. The motor oil is a little thicker than the, they were originally assembled with. Slide it in there. There it goes. Nice and smooth. And then you want to take that check ball that I was telling you about and you just want to poke it gently so it slides in there. You don't want to force the lifter in by the check ball. Um, if you want to uh, if you want to push the valve in further you can take one screwdriver on the ball and one screwdriver on the rest of the valve and you can push on the one that's not pushing on the valve until it sits in there nice and neat against the spring. Now you can take your uh, ball and you want to put one more drop on the top side of that ball just like that. Then you're going to take your lifter piston and slide that in there nice and easy. Again, if anything binds or chafes, make sure you're putting it in straight. Make sure it's got a nice thin coat of oil on it. Now this lifter piston is uh, not going down far enough for my retainer, so I'm going to make sure that my valve is all the way down. And it's still not far enough for the retainer, and there's no springiness to it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert my lifter and push the valve, but leave the valve up there. And we just want to get maybe one or two drops out of there. See if that will give it some more springiness. There we go. That's perfect, I think. I can... I can barely see the lip there, so I'm going to try and install it like that. Again, if you think stuff's going to go flying, try installing these inside a uh, plastic bag for this step. That way the, uh, the retainer will hit the inside of the bag, and you'll see where it goes. So I tuck one corner in while depressing the uh, piston with one finger. And then I come along beside it and I'll tuck the other corner in. Just like that. Oh, where's the retainer? No, I'm just kidding. I got it. Just make sure it's all the way seated in there. There you go. Your complete lifter should feel very firm. To compress um, some of these other ones that I haven't taken apart feel equally as firm. Um, if they don't have any springiness in them at all, that's fine. That just means you've got the optimum amount of oil in there. If they're a little bit more spongy, that'll be okay too. They'll fill up once you start your engine.